What's going on you guys? Chasing back here with another movie recommendation of the day. Yesterday I chose the Johnny Depp Tim Burton, well Tim Burton film starring Johnny Depp Ed Wood, a film about a persistent uh undistractable filmmaker who was known for making not so great uh b-rated sci-fi horror pictures but a movie that i think really touts johnny depp's best performance and one of tim burton's best pictures uh but again i wanted to kind of trying to keep things connected again i'm trying to pick movies that you normally wouldn't have seen that might be out of your realm something a little bit different to make you uncomfortable um Yesterday and the day before, I chose WrestleMania as my main themes to kind of pick wrestlers. <laughs> there was Georgie Animal Steel, of course, is in an Edward picture. Um, and before that, I chose the wrestler with Mickey Rourke. Today, I'm going to choose another film, not about wrestling, but about an adamant filmmaker who nonstop and perseveres to live his dream out to be a filmmaker of the highest accord. This is a documentary made in 1999. It was a hit at the Sundance Film Festival called American Movie. It is a documentary about these two gentlemen, mostly about this guy named Mark, and his journey to make movies. He's in this small town of Wisconsin. Uh, he's broke. He's got an uncle who lives in a trailer that has some money that he usually uses as an investor. Um, but it is pretty much a calamity of madness and... Wisconsin, him drink. I mean, it's all sorts of nonsense as this man is doing his best and striving as hard as he can to become a filmmaker. Wants to make a full uh, feature film picture, I believe was called Northwestern, but doesn't have the funds to make the movie. So what he decides, what his grand plan is, is to go back and work on a short film called Coven that he likes to call Coven. There's a, a good part in the movie about that called Coven. Yeah, he likes to call Coven. And he figures if he could finish this film and sell enough copies, that would that would make enough money for him to make his feature film, Northwestern. Now, this man struggles with having kids, having, you know, a bit of a drinking problem, coming from somewhere that he doesn't have any money or access to business people. I mean, this is really, uh, you know, middle of America guy trying to make his life work as a film director you know one of my i mean to set the picture greatly the movie opens up with him looking at the all of his bills and like you know in dirty clothes he's just going through all of his bills and he's talking about how much he owes and how much he owes these companies and then he gets a new credit card he goes oh they sent me a mastercard oh boy do they make a mistake and it, it, that is just kind of the level of insanity that you're going to go on this journey with these characters but at the end of the day it is about two people chasing a dream wanting to become filmmakers and doing everything in their passion and their ability and in their cognizance to make that dream come true and that's something to be celebrated and that's why i enjoy this movie so much not because it is a bit of americana of people in was of these of these guys in wisconsin who have these kind of pipe dreams it's really about just going for it and doing whatever you can and making sure every day you're you're fighting for it and this guy fought for it so uh, american movies gonna be my pick of the day uh, great selection we'll have more coming at you guys make sure to check this one out this one's great uh, and that's gonna be it for me today all right guys see you next time